And President Obama is in town tonight for some fundraising events. KCAL 9's Peter Dowd is live in Hancock Park with. Yeah, when President Obama moves on to uh, Palm Springs tomorrow, he's expected to establish three new. Let's uh, check in now with Rich Fields for a look at the weather. It's been getting a little bit cooler every day. Don't know if we can really feel that yet, but uh, he's got the rest of the forecast for us. Rich, the Republican primary in South Carolina is just nine days away. In Maryland, a sheriff was emotional as he released new information about a deadly shootout at a Panera Bread that left two veteran deputies dead. Mark Albert spoke to some folks who were hailing these men as heroes. Yeah, tonight, a lot of people think big developers have won. All right, Rich, thank you. Mexico is getting ready for its visit from Pope Francis. That's coming up. Welcome back. I'm Lena Wynn. CIA Director John Brennan spoke to CBS News's Scott Pelley for 60 minutes. The TSA is looking to make its force of airport screeners more professional and more effective. Chris Van Cleve is at the TSA's new training facility to show us how. Well, parents are outraged after a transgender teen made a choice on which locker room to use. Well, that story coming up. Some professors have also been sent packing. Chip Reed talked to one of them. The Oakland Raiders locked down some plans for their immediate future. That's coming up in sports. And still ahead here at 9 o'clock, a special story brings joy. Children of prison inmates are getting a new chance to bond with their mothers thanks to a new program. Elaine Quijano shows us how it works. And that'll do it for us here on KCAL 9 News at 9.